traders, I'm done for the day. As you can see here, my results. I've got uh, three green trades today. In fact, I had four trades today, and uh, two of them were in carve. One was the one was a loser, my first short, and then my second short, which was successful, that moved me to a uh, green territory. And uh, two nice small trades in Baba and in BA. You know what makes me happy? Well, tell you what. Returned yesterday from being away for three weeks. Uh, sailing the seas, <laughs> had a losing day yesterday, $10,200, and I made more than approximately $600 today, more than I lost yesterday. So <laughs> it really makes me happy since I'm going to finish this week in green. It's my second trading day for the week, so green is good. And you know what? That small thing just made me very, very happy. Uh, I do want to talk about something um, which has to do with Carve. Of course, that's not my biggest winner. In fact, it started uh, as a loser. And I want to talk a little bit about it. First, we need to take a look at the daily of Carve. When you take a look at the daily of Carve, you can see that uh, this one is just, I mean, recently been amazing. Uh, started at around uh, $10. In fact, if you go just two months back, you see it was around 8 dollars and then spiked up to 42 dollars when you look at a, at a chart like that you never know what's coming next i mean uh, it could be uh gm emc you know all these stocks it could continue to hundreds of dollars you just never know right you just don't know but when you look at a chart like that then you have two opportunities here i mean possibly you could go long or you can go short one thing is for sure, this one's going to be a big, big mover. I personally like to find the short opportunities, but that doesn't make it the right thing. In fact, Scott's trade going long today was better than my decision to go short at the beginning of the trading session. I ended up with a losing trade. Uh, Scott ended up with a winning trade, a big winner. And then, well, I kind of saw it was failing and I was looking for a short and I did short it and then my second trade turned out to be green. But there's one thing I want to talk about here and it has nothing to do with the fact that I went short and the point where I went short or Scott's long, it has to do with uh, the technical formation, in fact, the technical behavior of the stock intraday. And that's something I really want to discuss in just a very short, some very short words. And again, I'm not talking about the opportunity of going long and maybe it's going to go to hundreds of dollars or the opportunity of going short as I did today twice. I'm not talking about that. I'm just talking about the way the chart looks and what you should expect at some point of the day. Now, if you take a look at Carve here, intraday, the, the long opportunity was as good as the short opportunity and well, the long worked out and then it relaxed a little bit and then at that point it came down. You heard me say today it came back down too much. What does it mean when I said earlier that calf came down too much from the highs? What does that mean? It means just one thing. If you take a look at the chart, the stock seems like it does not, and I would say it in quotes here, does not want to, want to. I mean, what's a stock and wanting? But really, it's just uh, hundreds of thousands of people or maybe tens of thousands of people who are trading these stocks today. And they want or don't want it to move higher today. So if you like, take a look at the chart. The, the, the initial move was a huge upside move. And then it pulled back from the highs. If it wanted to continue higher, it should have reversed somewhere around here and spike up again. But look at the way it came down from the highs. The way it came down from the highs suggests it's not going to make another big move. It tried again, it failed. I could have suspected this move would fail. I mentioned earlier that I don't think it's going to continue much higher. Well, I did move out of my second trade here because I have to be careful. But the fact is it failed and it's now going sideways. So what I wanted to talk really about is the fact that it came back from the highs too much. Now, what is came back too much? Just take a look at the chart. There's no real rules for that. Just take a look at the chart and, and you know, just use your common sense here. Look at the chart. The chart stocked talks to you. That's the whole idea of technical analysis. The charts really talks to you. You look at the chart and you see that it came back all the way to here. In fact, it was very close to the lows. When a stock wants to continue higher, it's not going to do that. It, will, it could happen. It will be extremely rare if it would. 
okay so when i'm saying it doesn't want to do that that's going to happen more than 65 percent of the time it does not necessarily mean it's not going to happen in the future just don't bet on going long stocks that came back down from the highs too much that is in my eyes the definition of going too much okay your definition could be different uh, that's my definition right over here so if I'm looking at the chart right here and I don't have the black and white tools for you right now it's just looking at the f at, at the chart and just common sense this stock does not want to continue higher if it will it will be a surprise most likely it won't so if you see something like that I'm not talking about let's short it I'm not talking about anything that you know okay so I think it's not going to move up so now let's short it no I'm not talking about this I'm just saying don't bet on another move up and I know people are doing this all the time how do I know that look at Yogi's shirt Yogi show us your chair, shirt <laughs> if he's here with us now uh, if you look at Yogi's shirt you can see that uh, <laughs> here he comes you can see it says over trading you know why, why Yogi has on his shirt over trading because people are getting involved with this car thing until they're losing their whole account really when when, when, when you when you take up a stock like carve and you start over trading it that would be the po well you may have some excuses going long like Scott did today and he did successfully and then you may have an excuse going short like I did today and it worked out successfully the problem is you get married to stock sometimes lots of you guys are getting married to stock and here's the rule never get married to stocks okay <laughs> never get married to stocks you might, when, when, when they're gonna go against you at some point and if you if you get married to a stock like carve you're gonna lose your whole account because you think like you feel like you know what's going next you feel like you 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 understand it you feel like uh, you know what's gonna what, what the next move is gonna do so if you had a good trade because you traded it early like Scott did and then maybe my losing trade and my winning trade that's it don't get married to it you like it because it's volatile fine you like it because it has a nice volume fine you like it because the daily suggests it's going to do this or that fine just don't keep trading it all over again don't over trade it the whole idea is just stay away you had your chance you 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 may have a winner you may have a loser just don't over trade a stock like that people love stocks like carve stay away don't get involved they will go against you it's just not this this friendship is not good enough it's not gonna, not gonna last <laughs> she's gonna walk out with all your money <laughs> and I'm not talking about your wife I'm talking about Carl it's, it's it's really gonna walk out or your husband walk out with all your money so stay away uh, be careful and have a great weekend and I'll see you here next week <laughs> and just uh, keep safe and have just enjoy your weekend thank you very much for participating and if you are in YouTube give us a thumb up it really helps our channel and uh, we appreciate the fact that you traded with us today so nice green trade for me hope you did well too see you next week bye traders